you jump into a video in which a 20-something gives life advice. Pull out a piece of paper. Chop, chop, leaf up. Okay, write down the percentage of students who recently graduated with a physics degree who got a job in each of these categories. Physics and astronomy, obviously. Natural sciences, other science, technology, engineering, and math fields, non-STEM fields, engineering, and computer and information systems. Now, pause the video and write down your predictions. Wait! Now pause it. All right, let's hear the guesses. 10 points for Gryffindor if you can restrain your excitement and post your predictions in the comments below before continuing on with this video. All right now, what percentage of physics majors went on to get a job in the natural sciences, that is, biology and chemistry? And the answer is 8%. Eh, that's reasonable. Physicists keep mixing up DNA and RNA, which is why they are stranded and single. Other STEM fields? Also 8%. Would have expected higher. Now, non-STEM fields like history and English. 26%! Mm. Yes, physicists come in every flavor of jelly bean. Okay, but the number of students that go into physics and astronomy has to at least be around that number. 5%. Only engineering beats that with 32%. So not many physics majors actually stay in physics. And the missing 21%? Computer or information systems. I don't even know what that is. What, is, is that like computer science or something? There's no one here. So as you might have noticed, today's video is a little more sincere than you might have hoped, so if you'd like to navigate to another page, please do so before the bus leaves. So you're probably still here because one, you're considering whether to get a physics degree, like I was, and you're not really sure what it can be used for, like I was. Or you're my parents. Or three, you're that guy who commented to me, you don't look like that type of girl who goes out and applies for jobs. And you're checking up on me. Although you're right, I'm not the type of girl who goes out and looks for jobs. I applied online and I heard it was greener. The first interview was to be a dog toy designer. I think I'd be great for this job. I think I'd make a toy that doesn't do something typical like a little squeak, 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 squeak. I think I would make something that, that goes rawr. You know, something that really relates to your pooch. The second interview was for a position as a racehorse namer. I think I'd be great for this job. Ah, give me a minute. Majestic swashbuckler. Now say you don't want to hire me right now. And finally, I interviewed to be a software engineer. Um, I think I'd be great for this job. I have a degree in physics. And I got the job. Which is why I haven't been making a lot of videos. You see what I mean? You can do anything with a physics degree. You know, physics may seem like one of those majors that you either use just to teach or to be impressive explaining a joke from the Big Bang Theory. But I'm just gonna throw out a couple other options to hopefully convince you of the further usefulness of a physics degree. You could go back and get a higher degree in engineering, biology, or chemistry. You could work in a lab doing research in astrophysics, nuclear physics, particle physics, biophysics, acoustical physics, geophysics, janitorial physics, engineering physics, physical truck driving, medical physics, electronics or software engineering, become a good physics teacher, <clears throat> scientific laboratory technician, radiation protection advisor, the armed forces and defense industry, sound recording, toxicology, observatories and science museums, and science policy. Now, that's not enough? Well, if that list wasn't enough to convince you that the choices are a plenty, then there are other options. You haven't cemented your tush into position just by getting a degree. Besides those jobs, most of which actually apply physics directly, you could completely change your mind. You could become a poet, a historian, a bricklayer, a surf instructor, a chef. Physics prepares you for tough mental challenges, but first and foremost, study it if you have a passion for it. If you would go on YouTube and profess to tens of people that you love physics, because I do, 